What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Zoe Notice off DFS here to bring the NBA. I'm doing a, a breakdown slash roster build just because it is so late in the day. I highly doubt that many of you guys are going to be able to watch this. I do apologize for not getting a video out yesterday, but I did still drop content like I always do up on the Patreon. And if you guys are looking for straight up, if I don't drop a video or something like that, I will still post my content that will be up on the Patreon. If I am not going to be able to get anything out, I will always go ahead and shoot out a message, let everybody know, hey, caught up with some stuff, not able to get anything out. But yesterday, was not able to get a video, was slam packed with stuff, uh, getting done, and also, it was uh, my recovery day because I did work uh, the night prior. So, um, no excuses, back again. We got a small four-game slate. We had an early slate, uh, early game, early in the day, the Brooklyn Nets taking on Cl uh, Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, that one's already done, but we're going to focus on these four games that we have tonight. Um, like I said, just going to go over um, injury, roster construction, and just going to go ahead and get this up to you guys real quick in regards to how I plan on building for tonight's slate. If you guys are new here, you guys are enjoying the content, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the content that I am putting out. And drop a like in the video if this video or any of my other videos have helped you guys win some money. If you're looking for my content, plays, pool, cores, props, all that stuff, not only my stuff, but the guys over here at the No Days Off group, check that link down in the description below for the Patreon. And like I said, I am still working on getting uh, some product and some stuff for me to put up to make a members only up here on the YouTube for if you guys are not trying to get the stuff on the Patreon, you don't want to pay for that. You can definitely check that out. I will have a members only tab soon coming to the YouTube. So definitely uh, check that out. That is in the works. All right, so looking at it, uh, injury news, Boston, they're on the back end of back-to-back, -back, and they did play an OT last night, but Al Horford is going to be out. They wrestled Christoph Porzingis, so he is pretty much the only fresh leg that they have coming in, going up against the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, Damian Lillard, he is back today. Cameron Payne is expected to play as well. Full allotment, all the players are here for Milwaukee. Portland, uh, for them, Jabari Walker, I want to say that he was uh, doubtful to play, not too sure, but I know for sure Aiton is out, and um, Brown is going to be out as well. My Thunder, flying back home, back end of a back-to-back. They played last night in Miami. Now they are back home. Going up against the Portland Trailblazers, uh, right now it's a 12.5 point spread for the Thunder. Um, I, I will be honest, just because it is my team, wouldn't be surprised if we if this game stays close or if we lay a dud, just because it is the back end of a back-to-back. -back. But uh, for the season, we have done very well, and handling teams that are losing teams we've done very very well going up against those teams so really uh really interested to watch that game and on top of that if we do win that game we are the number one seed in the west so we'll be really interesting really cool i'm pretty sure the players would like to like to get that milestone over here for the new york knickerbockers still without uh mr robinson but everything else is good for them over here for Dallas, we already know that Luka Doncic is going to be out. Lively is doubtful to play, and Maxi Kleber as well. So uh, going to be a tight rotation for the bigs over here for Dallas. We've already seen this before or, um, last week where Luka sat and was out. So pretty much it was a Kyrie Irving, Jaden Hari, Josh Green show. Um, so definitely, I mean, you could already tell today, four games late, we're more than likely going to be stacking Dallas. We're not even more likely. We're going to be stacking Dallas, point me period. Uh, Phoenix. Still without Damian Lee. Other than that, all the guys are good. Back, they're good to go. And then Los Angeles Lakers, we already know how this is. LeBron James, Anthony Davis, always pop up best game time decisions. They're going to play. Cam Reddish is the only one that is questionable if he's going to actually play or not. And hopefully we actually get that news closer to the lock. Now, over here on DraftKings, the site that I like to play the most on the site that if you guys don't got an account and you want one, check the link down in the description below so you guys get that deposit match bonus and join me over here on The King. Um, like I said, just looking at it, uh, really, you're kind of going to start out your bills, at least for me. I'm going to start my bill over here with the Dallas Mavericks. They are going to be pretty highly owned. It's going to be, uh, for me, Kyrie Irving, um, Green, and Hardy. Like, these are going to be the main three guys that I'm going to want to go ahead and go with. I definitely see you're going to want at least three to maybe four Cavs. I mean, not four Cavs. Uh, three to maybe four Dallas Mavericks in, in your line. Like, uh, the usage is going to be there. It's going up against New York Knicks. They are a pretty good defensive team. They've been much better defensively since they have made the trade, getting OG and Anobi over there um, and kicking out RJ Barrett, getting rid of uh, Iman quickly, all that sorts of stuff. But um, definitely still Dallas Mavericks, Kyrie's Kyrie. Kyrie can go out there and carry a team and carry load. And I definitely wouldn't be surprised if he goes out here and has a pretty good night. Now, if you want to get different in GPPs, I 110% understand. Fade Kyrie. Simple as that. Fade Kyrie. You fade Kyrie, you probably can go out here and have a pretty good uh, night. Because if he goes out here, he lays a sneaker, they lock the clamps on him or something like that, boom, you'll be different than most of the field. Uh, right now, looking at Kyrie owner for hit Kyrie owner, uh, Kyrie Irving for his ownership and what he's sitting at right now. All three of these guys, um, Hardy sitting at 45% ownership, Kyrie 42, Tim Hardy Jr. 41, uh, Derrick Jones Jr. 39, Dwight Powell 40. So as you can see, these Dallas players, Josh Green 36, they're going to be highly owned in Every single tournament, every single field, cash games, whatever you want to call it. The way that you can truly get different would just be simply point blank period, fade them. Um, 
looking through the rest of the guys, the rest of the studs, uh, of course, Anthony Davis, I imagine that he'll be pretty uh, highly owned. Uh, same thing for like Julius Randle, uh, Jalen Brunson. And then if you want to believe in the revenge narratives in the, um, the Milwaukee and Boston game, uh, this will be the first time that Drew Holiday will be going back to be playing in Milwaukee. I could definitely see some merit in going to him, 7-1. Uh, really hasn't been playing all that great, but we do know opposing point guards have actually done pretty well going up against the um, the, the Milwaukee Bucks. So definitely something that you can go with right there. Uh, I will say, if I'm going to be taking any other stud on today's slate, I personally do like coming down, not necessarily going to Anthony Davis, but LeBron James. I like the upside for him. Uh, looking like much lower ownership than what we're going to be getting for uh, Anthony Davis. And if you guys know, I mean, LeBron James, Kevin Durant, it's an age-old battle. They they like to go back and forth, uh, go at each other, especially in these games. So I really do like the idea of possibly paying up for, if I can, a uh, LeBron James or a Kevin Durant, either one of these guys. KD, he's been uh, on the roll, playing very well uh, with the whole uh, group of players being back. I like either one of those guys as possible plays right there to honestly just go ahead and um, build around. Uh, but right now, if you just go with the Kyrie Ir Irving stack with his two cheap uh, plays you can get right here with Hardy and Green, you're left with 66, uh, 6 4 to finish building out the line. You plug in LeBron James, you lift at 5 8. And then at the center position, really, depending on if you want to play Giannis, but. I will say Boston has done very well at defending uh, Giannis throughout his career. Um, I don't know what it is, but Giannis, he does struggle going up against Boston. And then, like I said, I'm already fading Anthony Davis. I'm going to go with LeBron James. You definitely mess with going to, with the Julius Randle, KP, Chet Holm going up against a soft, a soft matchup over here going up against Portland. I definitely don't mind that. Or if you want to get the bounce back from the Phoenix and Los Angeles Lakers game, getting some uh, late pressure from that, you could definitely go with Nurk. Now, someone else down here who will be considered value is going to be Reith, especially if Jabari, uh, Jabari Walker is going to be out and for the fact that they are already going to be without Aiton. We do know that opposing centers have done very well going up against my Thunder, and he's a decent fantasy point per minute producer. This game going up against the Knickerbockers, they got blown out. Really wasn't uh, hitting anything out there anyway, but we do know he's capable of giving you a 40-plus fantasy point type game. And uh, seeing, looking at it, he's sitting right underneath the um, the threshold in regards to the average player remaining salary that you can get. I really do think you can build out a pretty decent line if you were to go with some of these value uh, centers down here. Um, now, you can definitely come down here and mess with, where is he at? Uh, let's go to power forward position real quick. You definitely can. If Grant Williams is in, I can see you going with Grant Williams. Right now, he's questionable. Um, didn't do, hasn't done really too much uh, anyway over, over his last couple games. But if you want to mess with that, that's definitely an option that you can go to, but not something too necessarily that I'm, I'm paying attention or going to. Um, but outside of that, this is really where most of my bills and my line is starting at is the, um, that Dallas stack. Looking at definitely playing LeBron James just for lower ownership and just the matchup. Uh, things like that is what I'm looking at. I will have my full player pool, core value plays, mid-tier plays, and studs. All that will be posted on the Patreon along with my slate plan and how I exactly plan to move and build on tonight's slate. Uh, keep in mind, it is a 730 lock, so it is not an early slate at all. So definitely keep that in mind. Over here on the prize picks um some plays something that you could possibly mess with go to jason tatum i do like his uh 8.5 uh rebounds was messing around looking at some hockey uh things like that but um over here for nba another play that i really do actually like uh would be um kevin rant for his three point attempts i do think that that's a pretty decent play that we can go ahead and get to i don't mind uh actually pairing it up but if you are in the Discord, I already dropped a slip in the Discord uh, for you guys for the day. So hopefully you guys got that. Our first leg of it already cashed out with, um, well, pushed with uh, Allen going ahead and getting 12 rebounds. I don't know what the heck it was today, but Donovan Mitchell decided he wanted to snag every single thing while they were in Paris. So it really kind of sucks that uh, Allen could have definitely had at least maybe 15, 16 rebounds. But um, when you have a guard like Donovan Mitchell that wants to go out there and just do any and everything, definitely understand that. Some other plays that I really do like that do make some sense uh, on today's slate. Uh, I'm trying to find the rebounds and assists tab. Where the heck is it at? I'm so blind. Okay, rebounds and assists. Some other plays that I really do like for rebounds and assists today. Uh, Hartenstein, I mean, the guy, he covers it pretty well. Going up against Dallas, they're not going to really have a true center out there, especially if um, they, they play Powell. I'm not just scared of Powell. And the guy, he honestly racks up those rebounds and assists. And depending on what they put his fantasy score at, because he gets a lot of blocks and steals, I really do like the upside for taking his um his uh, fantasy score. Now, I understand looking at his game logs, it definitely could feel like a trap, but the dude produces, especially on the rebounds, um, rebounds and assist department and his blocks and steals. Uh, he definitely just does work whenever it comes down to it. If uh, Jabari Walker does get ruled out, I do like going with um, Breathe as another G uh, GPP option that you can go to here as another um, fantasy score play. You could probably pair that up with Hartenstein if you're looking for something like that. Um, outside of that, I'm going to post another slip up on the Patreon just specifically for the Patreon for you guys later on uh, when it gets closer to the lock, uh, along with all my other content. So. Like I said, check that out. That will be on the Patreon. Hopefully you guys do cash out and good luck.